Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you and the button. Welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hype. This is episode 138. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Very special guest in the building. A reoccurring situation. My guy is back in the building. And when you Google me and I have pictures of him, that's crazy because we just both fat and light skin. Reintroduce yourself to the audience. <laughs> Real talk, though, man. It's your favorite coach's favorite coach. You know what I'm saying? Your favorite fat freckle man, nah, aka. Splash Charles, a.k.a. He going to say it, so I might as well get it out the way. Nutmeg Nah, man. Copy that, my man. Nutmeg Nah is in the building. <laughs> man, don't try to leave that one out. <laughs> All right, this is episode 138. Me and my man have a long-standing agreement here where if you use okay. something and I like it, we will have out plagiarize the whole situation. We will get, salute each other and give you the credit for having that. And, but we are definitely plagiarizing. Him, but um, so I'm scrolling through the gram, uh, one of my many pages yesterday, and um, I see now nah, I got this video where he's talking to the black men, and it was like, man, that was a powerful message, my brother. Are you free <laughs> for an episode tomorrow, my man? <laughs> so that's how we got here. This one is about the black men. What do we need? Not even just the black men, just men in general. What is it that we need from the surrounding communities? As you know, we like to start with the guests here on the How to Hustle podcast. We're 138 episodes in. You should know that by now. The new listeners every day, B. So, nah, talk to us. <laughs> true talk, true talk. Um, so, one of the things we need, and I'll just go with what I was talking about in the message, man, we need other black men. We need other black men to stand tall with us, stand tall for us. Uh, a lot of times we feel like we the only ones in our situation. We feel like, you know what I'm saying, our situation seems so unique. But it's another brother going through more than likely the exact same thing, something similar, something tougher. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes something not as tough as we are, but you'd be surprised to see the strength that they could offer you and the strength that you could offer them. So we need each other to sustain each other, man. Like, that's really where one of the things off the top. That's what I was trying to say in the message. That village you know what I'm saying? That village of other men try and get to where you try and get to. You die. So copy that. The village situation, people always instantly take it to it takes a village to raise the child or to raise your family type situation, but it takes a village to have well-rounded individuals, adults, children, teenagers, all that so that you get shown different things and you can pick and choose what works for you. If you right. only got a village when you're a kid, then what do you do when you're an adult and you have issues, problems, and all of those type situations? You mean? Um, the thing I'm going to say that we, the first thing I'm going to say that we need is uh, we need a better narrative. The narrative Ooh. on us is, is shot. The narrative on us is that we don't care, that we don't think, we don't feel things. Not even we don't think things. We don't feel things. We definitely don't feel. That's exactly the we narrative. Don't, we don't have emotions. Is that we don't have, uh, we don't have the pressures of being a man. Like, people always will tell you about, uh, as a mother, God, I hate when people say that. <laughs> like, how come as a mother, your situation is so much stronger than mine as a father? You don't know what it's like to be a father because you're not a man. I don't know what it's like to be a mother. I'm not a woman. Um, But we need a better narrative because there's so many dudes out here who take care of their kids, who handle their responsibilities, who ain't treated themselves to nothing because they're making sure that their kids is good. Like, making sure that their wife is good, make sure that their household and their situation is good before you just go out there and blowing and tricking off your ass because, you know, that's what you wanted to do. Thanks. Uh, so, like, yeah, you definitely, you always, 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 always got some bad eggs in a bunch. You know what I'm saying? Oh. You in the market, you crack the joint over and you go, ah, damn, see, they tried to get me. Two of these joints was bad. Thank but God. you don't know that until you lift up that hood, until you start to peel back them layers and start to look at all of that type of situation. But we need a better narrative on just the men in general, like too many people say like, you don't need a man for this. You don't need a man for that. I need a woman. I need my wife. I need her to complete my entire situation. Without her, my situation wouldn't be complete. Without me, her situation wouldn't be complete. 
Now, exactly. people can, you can dance all around those situations all you want because you've been by yourself and you got used to being by yourself, male or female, but it don't mean yeah. that you don't need the other individual uh, to have you again to create well-rounded adults. But go ahead now. Nah, what was your next one? No, nah, I'm feeling that because, uh, and, and this is going to sound cheesy to some people, but we need these black voices, these black male voices to continue. The right ones, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Like you said, there's bad ones in every bunch. And I know those sound to be the popular ones right now. You know what I'm saying? The, the dudes is out there. Always, the one that's the, screaming exactly. the loudest is always the one that niggas is listening to. But the nigga who's calm, cool, and collected about his situation is probably the one that's about to give you the best knowledge. You feel me? Because that's the one that don't have to like yell it out, that don't feel like they have to yell it out in the time. The people who truly have the truth don't feel like they have to box with you to give you the truth. They feel like the truth is going to tell itself. You know what I'm saying? We just, the delivery system. The delivery is that I'm giving you the truth. So why why do I need to scream, holler, or, or inflect to make this a bigger situation than it is? The facts is the facts. It's nothing for me to argue with you about this. <laughs> Right. I don't got to fight with you. I don't got to box with you. I give it to you. You take it, you take it. You don't, you don't. But I know I was giving it to you. Whereas, you in, like you said, you know what I mean? Also, in that situation, you have to listen to that person. It's yes. Like, most people just wait to talk. They don't, they don't listen. They don't know how to hold a conversation. Conversation is when you say something and I wait for your reply. And then I reply to what you said. I don't have a preconceived notion or already have like, well, I'm saying this regardless of what not. Right. Like, that's not a conversation. Oh, my bad. I jumped Or just court. listening or just listening to reply, right? Like, yeah, he said that. So now I'm going to come back with this as oh, opposed yeah. to letting the complete thought go. You know what I I'm saying? I listened to the first three words that you said and you triggered <laughs> me with one and now I'm just going, oh, the nigga said this. So I'm not hearing nothing else he said. He could have just been making an analogy, using it as an example. I ain't catching none of that. Cause I locked in on this one thing. Yeah, we don't you like. Mean, they type. treat it. They treat it like battle rap. They treat it like <laughs> battle rap. Like that's going. I'm gonna rebuttal this. No matter what else he say for the rest of the bar, I'm coming back to rebuttal these thingy things he said that I didn't like. And, and so we need these voices to continue because we need to rewrite the narrative, right? Like it's it, it's not enough to just. Unfortunately, it's not enough for us black men to just live right and do right. Apparently, like because people act like those men who do that don't exist. They, and so we got to talk about it. Like you would think, you would have never thought that that had to be the situation that we have to sit here and broadcast the things that we're doing because we're doing it for the sake of doing it. We're doing it because it's the right thing to do, the way we cut. But unfortunately now, in order to change the narrative, we have to put it out there. The problem with that though is old niggas like us are from the era of do and don't be seen. You feel this me? Is the era of be seen no matter be what seen. you're doing. Good, bad, or indifferent. You have to record it. You have to show the world that this is what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I like the little selective marketing right there as my man sips from the mug. Copy that. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> but this is the this is a different era and different way of life for niggas like us to think about. And it's like, I don't like why would I be broadcasting that? Yeah, tch, just bought my daughter some snakes. Why is that a big deal? Well, who are we pumping that to? You don't get credit for taking care of your own responsibilities. Like or even, even when you from. help other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, we the type where we're not going to go out to the hood and give away pizza to the homeless and give away turkeys to the hungry, and we got the camera there. No, we're doing it for that sake so that they can have what we want them to have. But unfortunately, in this society that we live in to try to, re, you know, adjust the narrative, we also have to be seen. Like, it's something I don't personally like. You know what I'm saying? Because it goes against, like you said, what, the way we've been shown and the way we've been taught. But it's we not gonna get. It, it's not gonna change just off the strength of us doing it, man. We got to be the example, and the example has to also be seen. Another thing that I think for us that we uh, that we really need is like words of encouragement. Absolutely, just bro. Knowing how to actually talk to somebody, like. It's not even like, I don't need you to like pat me on the back because like, again, yeah, you gave some turkeys away or you did this, that or whatever for your own family, cousin, whatever. Like, you just need to hear some positive shit. And like you said, that could be from your circle of guys, friends, or it could be from your girl, your cousin. It could be from anybody who's just paying attention to the, what's going on around them. If somebody is doing something good, I will always pull a nigga to the side and let them know that one-on-one. -on -one. I let them know that in a phone call, in a text message. 
because I got always, always, always say this, like, we all going. And don't tell me how much I meant to you and how much you love me under a picture that I can't read. I can't see this. Oh. And my wife don't care. I'm just let you know right now. You can have the most heartfelt, oh my God, hype message. She is not going to care. All right. She's not going to see that, John. Just to let you know. <laughs> but we need to like have those positive reinforcement type situations. Like, it's nothing wrong with you telling another nigga, I like the way you moving. I like the way you carry yourself. I like the way you handled that. And it's also nothing wrong with somebody telling you, like, I didn't like the way that you handled that. I didn't like the way that you carried yourself there you still need to be, like, held accountable for them situations. Because, like, ain't nobody batting a thousand out here. I'm doing shit wrong every day. You doing shit wrong every day. Like, nigga who listening to this, he's fucking up too. You know what I'm saying? Players fuck up, it happens. Ain't nobody batting a thousand. But we just got to make sure, like, you know, we still encouraging each other in these situations. I remember, man, you had a conversation. You was like, man, we, which we all go through in this content creation situation. Yo, I'm struggling to come up with topics. All right, so you use these couple of different methods and this is the way that you'll come up with some shit. Like, but that's nothing in that for me. That's me and you on the phone checking in and just, yep. what's up with you? How are you doing? How's the show going? How's all that working? I need help with this. Or I've been thinking about doing this. I've been thinking about doing that. That's why we have the long-standing agreement of if you like something I got, take it, bro. Go ahead. Yep. Just say, Shouts out to my man Hype on the episode when we get to life be life and available on all streaming platforms. Um, but go ahead. Yeah, nah. Another thing, another thing we need, another thing we need is, and you, you just used the word accountability. We need to give it and we need to accept it. Um, we're not gonna go nowhere without it. Everybody needs accountability. Don't get me wrong. But um, I definitely do want to stress it for our black men because it's not about finger pointing. You know what I'm saying? It's not about pitting nobody down. It's not about finger pointing. It's about accountability. Okay, so let me add, attach this caveat. Accountability with love. You know what I'm saying? Like, with the intent to really, like, help somebody fix their situation. With the intent to help them ship up and shape not up. And, you know what I mean? Not yeah, not criticizing it. Exactly. Criticizing, not it when, criticizing it when no way for me to fix it is not helping me. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> So, like, when you hold somebody accountable, okay, nah, you said y'all was coming out every week. Then you went bi-weekly. Now, it's been two weeks of no episode. Everything cool? Like, that little conversation that happens and that part that's added on, everything cool, it's like, it's concern. It's not you just being like, yo, nigga, hey, 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 where the episode at? Where the episode at? You, you bugging, dog. You want some shit? Like, nah. Do it in a way where you're not sugarcoating, so you're being straight with the person, but do it in a way that helps the person grow. Yo, I see you making your own stuff, Hype. Them last CH5s, they wasn't it, bro, because your last joints, they did like this, and they had that foot into it, and they had that joint to it. You think you could bring that joint back maybe with this one and do it a different way, bro? I don't know that I don't know custom kicks like you know custom kicks. I'm just throwing some stuff out there. You know what I'm saying? Funny stuff man like mentioned that. those the CH fives will be coming soon, y'all. Y'all already know. <laughs> already know how we do. Salad, bro. Copy that. <laughs> um, uh, my last one, and this is a very very important one, is you become a, like an adult. You put stuff on your calendar. You know what I'm saying life insurance mortgage uh car notes and such we need a real woman you need a full-fledged bona fide woman okay when you get to the point where you got prescriptions that need to be picked up you got different schedules with the kids you might be a coach you might be going to band practice you might had the lump on your knee that you ain't never get checked from 2006 like a real woman is what every man needs <laughs> Because she is the thing that will make you a better individual. She is the thing that will hold you accountable for the things that you're BSing on. If you the nigga who can't manage a checkbook and your girl is good at that, she's going to make you tighten up on them skills. Unless you just type the passes all the way off to her, then, you know, hopefully nothing ever happens in that situation where now you don't That's know how to pay the cable bill. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but a real woman is what a man needs, not. I mean, then these are the dangerous situations. Man, my bro was talking about this the other day. He like, man, 
I come home, bro. I'm trying to get married. Like, I ain't trying to be on no dumb shit. I'm like, nigga, from what I hear, it's hard out there for a pimp. <laughs> I'm like, you gonna have to find a couple needles in that haystack, but uh real women or uh somebody who is nurturing, caring, giving, concerned, not somebody who is a UFC fighter, okay? <laughs> Don't need <laughs> Mia X. Mia X is not what anybody wants to have in their situation. Uh, no, no not, limit soldiers. No Tims <laughs> and uh, that's not. I don't need any butters and Carhartts out of my woman. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's cool for you to have that in your bag when it needs when it's warranted. It's not warranted Thanks. on a Wednesday evening when I just did a double. Okay. Right. It's not warranted like we started having this conversation where you know like he been struggling with whatever. This is right. not the time. Read the room. Understand what your man is. Understand what your woman is for the man. Like That's why I always tell niggas, if, bro, if this stage in life, you got to get a real woman. Damn a girl. Don't have a girl. You need a yeah. real woman. <laughs> And, and I want to jump on top of that. And I think every black man. I mean, that's needs, usually what happens once you get a real I, woman. You all the way on top of that, bro. That's a fact. <laughs> I think every black man. <laughs> I think every black man needs a bond, a solid bond with a black woman, right? Like, let's say love ain't working out for you right now and you ain't found the missus, you ain't found the queen yet. Okay, cool. But you need a bond with a solid black woman. That could be a sister, that could be a best friend, that could be you know, uh, somebody who you do business with, you know what I mean? What, whatever it is, but you need, as a black man, you need that bond because we don't know women inside and out. Point blank simple. We don't know everything about everything. And sometimes you are going to need a woman's perspective. Flat out. No matter how right we are. No matter, we dealing no. with. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> And it's some stuff that's just never going to make sense to us coming from where we stand, but we still have to navigate it. So when you have a solid black woman that you have a bond with because they have a particular level of empathy that the average black man don't tap into right off, that's going to help you know how to navigate a situation as opposed to maybe like handling it like a bruise or mishandling the situation because you're coming into it, you know what I mean, all force or all tactics. And what you really need is more savvy. What you really need is maybe more compassion in that situation. You know yes. what I'm saying? So, Relationships teach you to be versatile. You can't absolutely. always be. You can't always be the sensitive one. You can't always be the one that needs the pat on the back. Like the a relationship will teach you how to be versatile and deal in different situations and talk to somebody differently because one kid ain't like the other kid. Right. Uh, your, your wife at 25 ain't your wife at. 34 like yeah. so and if you're looking again to have a real tangible situation that we're looking to when we got married they said to death do us part not tell you she gets on your nerves because guess what she probably got on my nerves three days later i probably got on her <laughs> nerves three days later it happens <laughs> it's just the nature of these situations like you said our mindset their mindset we were brought up to look at things totally different and we just have to get on an equal ground so that we can you know uh, travel through this thing smoothly, because nobody's yes. traveling through this thing without no potholes and no bumps. And just At all. ain't nobody. Nobody's relationship is like that. Um. Nope. All right, now we've gone a little heavy, and again for niggas who listen into this, you know what I'm saying this is just to let you know, like my man now, like I said, he posted this clip talking to the black men. Even though less we could go black men, we could go anybody who's listening to this. I don't know what you yeah. are. If you're listening to this in China, we appreciate you hitting the button. We only accept five stars. And that's H Y M P E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. But um <laughs> we need them different situations for men because people just act like we just all rocks at all times. And all rock at all time will have a nigga in the corner somewhere breaking down and you don't even know what the fuck is wrong. Oh god. Um, all right, now let's switch him up to the Get to Know segment. This is where we get to know my man Nutmeg Nah. even though we know a lot about Nah <laughs> over here at the Hot House Podcast, right? but we know the listeners, like I said, every day, B. Sponsored every day, B. Custom Hustle. It is at Custom Hustle World, at Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. Custom Hustle World is Instagram. My bad, y'all. Uh, we do custom jerseys, custom jackets, 
We got four versions of the sneakers available right now. The CH5s are coming. They're not here yet. The flip-flops, the barber capes. If you cut or do hair, we'll take care of you. Summer is uh, we're getting a little nicer now. The shorts will be back out there, too. Uh, sweatsuits, however you need these situations, we have them. We're hustling them over there at Custom Hustle World on Instagram, Custom Hustle Co. Uh, now, get to know now. Nah. Since my man has this in his background, what is your favorite comic? My single favorite comic? I don't have one. Come on, give me uh-huh. two then. I'll give you... So the comic, the issue where we talking about character, like like the, the, the title, what are we doing? We can go character for one, and then you give me issue okay. for another one. All right, so my favorite character, I would here. say. All right, so my favorite character is Black Panther, flat out. Like, when he's done at his best, I don't feel like there's another there's another one probably better written maybe outside of Spider-Man. Uh, I think he gives me everything I need as a black person um, on top of just being fun, interesting, and different. Um, you, you know, it's not too many people that's being a hero from a king's position. That's a totally different type of situation. Um, as for an issue, mm, damn, that's definitely all. I told you that's before the show, baby. You paid talent. You got to be ready for these types. Yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'll just give y'all one of my favorite issues. One of my favorite issues. I'm a person, right? I like kind of like the what if Jones that's like outside of the norm. So you had a situation where it was Spider Man's aunt got shot with a bullet from Kingpin. In the situation that they have, Mary Jane gets shot with the bullet instead in the what if. So Spider-Man handles things completely different. You know what I'm saying? He's off the cuff now. He's against his no-kill rule. He catches a body. I ain't going to ruin for y'all to tell you who he killed, but the way he went about it and even the way at the end when they caught up to him, he could have scrapped his way out. And he was just like, no, I'm going to take these charges. This is what it is. And he's always been about power and responsibility. So for him to take the charge at the end and get booked when he could have just fled and did what he wanted to do, it was, still lines up with the core of who he is. And what edition was this one? That was what if what if Spider-Man back in black? Copy that. All right, now I know that that's the Jim saying that's a drone for you. That was just a tribute to my man. Now, here's another one for my man Best Power Spinoff. Best Power Spinoff? Yes. I don't know because I don't like none of the Power Spinoffs like that. Come on now. You got to I, I don't oh, know. Right, right. No, you know what? I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> Raising Canaan. Okay, Raising now. Power Raising Canes. Chicken Fingers Only. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> Why is Raising Kane in your, or in fact, not even why is Raising Kane in your favorite one? Who your favorite character on Raising Kane? Ooh. I'm going to go with Kane. I'm going to go with Kane. I hate, all right, see, I usually don't jump in because this is get to know you. This is not get to know I. I hate Kane. <laughs> like, God, you're just the toughest 15 year old in the history of the world. Like, you knocked yeah. off Andy from Sisters. You're hitting the chick raw. Now she's pregnant. Like, I'm done with this guy. Do I got to say I'm not caught up? I'm not caught up on, oh, on, 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 on it right now. So it might be some stuff that might change my mind. It's just 50. You know he got to write himself yeah. as the best nigga in the world. Like, yeah, that's true, too. That's the one thing I do hold against him while I like other characters besides him. I'll probably say, you know what? I'll probably say Marv. I'll probably say Marv or Jukebox is probably my favorite. If All I'll right, see, after the nigga got set on fire and then walked up eight months later on some soap opera type time, I was done with him. <laughs> <laughs> now, you got a quick $200 you just came up. What you buying with that 200 This is an unexpected Ooh, deuce. Unexpected 200 Yeah. And we you ain't talking about no obligation. I'm going to go ahead and buy what no, I want to buy. You, you was at work this day. You was walking to the bathroom real quick. Oh, wait, hold up. That was two joints right there. <laughs> You scoop scored and now this is a free deuce. You ain't even tell you ain't even text your wife about this deuce yet. What you doing with this deuce? <laughs> All right, so it's two things I'll probably do with it. Um because I'm gonna spend this irresponsibly. Um <laughs> it's free, you can. You know what I'm saying? So either either I'm gonna probably get a pair of kicks that I was trying to get, or I have a particular uh I have a particular back issue in mind, like one of those collectible type Jones that I was looking at. So I pro- I might get one of them. I ain't going to lie to you. I might get one of them, pay to get it graded, and then use that as an investment for later on. 
Copy that. You know, we like to flip things. Lastly, mm -hmm. because you are paid talent, co-host of the first ever How to Hustle live show, what is it that you learned from doing a live show? Oh, man, I learned so much. I learned about uh, I learned about doing the things in, in situations where, you know, like you said, being versatile, being on the fly, like making sure that my voice projected because we had an audio issue. Um, connecting with the crowd, doing answering certain questions. And, you know what I'm saying? Making something that seems like, you know, it's not the easiest thing for everybody to do, but making sure it was fun. I think that's the thing I learned most is making sure that I'm having fun with it as I do it. My joint was always like, make sure you make an eye contact. For sure. <laughs> make sure that you're looking, you looking at somebody to make sure that they think like you're talking specifically to them. I could be talking directly about now, nah, but I'm looking at bro. <laughs> like, just to make that connection with somebody. Don't be looking down. And like you said, make sure you're projecting your voice is definitely a big joint. All right. Now, before we close out the show, we got two more drinks that we're going to get to. The last one, though, will be What Do We Need to Know, which is sponsored by H2H Cleaning. That is at H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. With are doing roofing, plumbing, flooring, HVAC, cleanups, cleanouts. Uh, we're doing upholstery work, carpets, however you need it done. We're hustling it over there at H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. So you get at me, big jobs or small jobs, we're here to help. Just tell us how we can help. Nah, what do we need to know about? What do we need to know about? Mm. Maybe some mugs or some hoodies. I'm not really sure. What is it that so we So for need life be life and what do we need to know about? Whatever it is that to, you we well, hold up. Whatever it is that you think that we currently need to know about, what is that that we need to know? This is when the floor is all yours. All right, it's two things y'all need to know. Y'all need to know life be life. And first of all, if y'all don't know, for the new listeners of how you know uh the, the how to hustle drive through, you know what I'm saying? international height for those who don't know you need to know life be life all right life be the letter b l-i-f-i-n-g first and foremost you need to know we drop every other saturday we talk about whatever we we not the most current eventish type of people but we mix it in there when we need to i'm sorry my brother who's we you saying we and That's you seem to be one individual on the episode with hype this week i'm sorry that would be me you know what I'm saying? Your favorite coach's favorite coach. And my co-host, a.k.a. Big Mish, a.k.a. Me, me, the goddess. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can Come find man. us on IG. Y'all can find us on Facebook. Y'all can find us on YouTube and various other places. Click that link in the bio. Uh, you need to also know that we're going to have some T-shirts coming for y'all this year. 40 years out. Not exactly sure which month yet, but we're going to have at least some T-shirts for y'all before the year is out with a new logo. All right? Um, And what... I want everybody to know, and this is going to sound very atypical of me, but we got a presidential election coming up, and I need y'all to understand the excuse of not looking into third-party people because, oh, it's going to take away from the Democratic vote is a piss-poor excuse. Do your education. We have Google. They're not going to advertise. They're not going to have commercials like the Democrats and the Republicans. So you're going to have to do your own research. If you don't like Biden as an option and you don't like Trump as an option, and you wish there was another option, it behooves you to look into the third party and at least see if that option exists. If it don't, and you feel like you still got to choose between the two evils, the lesser two evils, cool. But it behooves you to do the homework. This sounds like an episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stance I've been trying to kick for the last 12 uh, years, bro. Chill, we ain't even about to do that. Got two so, people so, so we could I definitely come, do an episode. I, I got us a full round table for that one. I got two niggas Say that just actually thought of. Um, Say less. all right, before we close this one out, like I said, nah, paid talent. I did the live show with my man. Nah, you're gonna mm -hmm. throw a hype on the, the hot seat at you. You give me just one joint, throw one question at me randomly, right. rapid fire situation. Give me something to answer before we close out episode 138. All right, but let's see what I can ask the big man. Um, okay, okay. What is out of out of all the custom hustle hustle products? If you had to pick one that you go and sit there and shop at a particular event, which is your go-to? Sneakers. What's something somebody gotta have? Sneakers. The reason I say sneakers is because you do not know another person in the world who ain't Nike Puma. 
Reebok or none of that. Who got snakes? Um, when niggas say they got clothing lines, most, like a lot of people got sweatsuits. And, you know, niggas then ventured into jackets and jerseys. Niggas can do all of those type of things. Can't nobody do snakes. Ain't nobody doing snakes. And the sneakers are always the thing. When I show somebody, they go, wait, what? <laughs> like, so it's definitely, somebody asked me yesterday, like, uh, he was like, so you just get Nikes and you just do them? No, I ain't, that ain't got nothing to do with no swooshes, B. These is custom hustle. Like, they're going to say on the side, it's going to say custom hustle. Now, if you get a pair of them CH3s, you can put your own logo, name, whatever you want on the back. We can do that with any, with damn near any of them that we can put, you know, your own situation, but they will say custom hustle on them because that's what they are. So I'm definitely going to say sneakers because sneakers are the thing that separates you from the pack. I dig it. So my man, nah, I appreciate you coming on, bro. That's episode 138. Nah, we got another one to do since you just brought up that voting situation. We are out. I am hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. Feel it, feel it.